Hi, my favorite child champions. I am reaching out to you today with a couple of messages. And I'll be honest, it's a mixed bag. I was just meeting with Ashley, our amazing housing director, who was sharing with me that the waiting list for families with children in our community has ballooned up to about 170 families right now. This is usually the low point of the year as uh, things have climbed down through the summer months, but we're entering the hardest part of the year at the highest I have ever seen that waiting list in my nearly 11 years in this role. And while that is a scary place to be and a heartbreaking place to be, it is also an opportunity for us to think about how do we do better as a community? How do we not turn away when things get hard, but actually lean in and learn from all of the things that we've done well and the things we haven't done well to be our best selves for our neighbors? I think one of the things that the pandemic showed us is that we know how to show up for each other in Whatcom County. We know how to pivot and be flexible and be creative to get people the support that they need. We know how to feed kids if feeding kids is what needs to happen. We know how to help our neighbors get groceries. We know how to stand up new programs quickly and expand. And I am really excited because the last few months of this year, we have a great opportunity to do something new in our community. For the last year, I've been working with this amazing group of community members on something we call the Healthy Children's Fund, which is a piece of legislation that thanks to a bipartisan support of our county council will be on your November ballot as Proposition 5. And Proposition 5 is a really great step we can take towards addressing some of the challenges we see and the shortcomings here in our community for children and families. Proposition 5 through a property tax levy will generate $8.2 million a year for 10 years, local dedicated funds to invest in healthy children and families through two key initiatives. First, expanding childcare and early learning opportunities throughout Whatcom County so that parents can get back to work knowing their kids are safe. And secondly, making critical invest investments in our community's most vulnerable children to keep families housed and prevent them from being another number on that wait list of 170 and to invest in the earliest years of our kiddos before age five, before they show up at our kindergartens, not with the resources that they need to fully engage in learning. The Healthy Children's Fund Proposition 5 is a great opportunity for us to experiment at the local level with how to make things better here in a way that works for Whatcom County families. We have a kickoff happening on Wednesday, September 21st in the evening. It is family friendly. There will be tacos. We are very excited to launch this campaign. You can check out the website at yeswatcomkids.com. You can endorse and support and donate and help us door knock, help us hand out really cute flyers with such cute kids, um, and help us take that bold, brave step and see what we can do together. I continue to see you show up for Lydia Place and show up for kids. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do if we lift Proposition 5 off the ground. Thank you all so much and be well.